the chocolates. What the frick is that? We got the chocolates. Don't they do dad jokes? <laughs> we got the chocolates. Wait, there's a podcast? Yes. Really? <laughs> Scouts, welcome back to the We Got The Chocolates podcast. I'm Lee. I'm Skin. And this is, well, actually, that's Mikus over there. I'll go first to Mikus behind the camera, sometimes in front of the camera, currently in front of the camera, but also responsible for what's happening behind the camera. Uh, And we also have a very special guest this evening, a guest host for the full episode. It is Yana. Yana, welcome. Thanks for being here. Hello. Hello. Thanks for having me again. No, you are most welcome. You have probably arrived by accident, but definitely stay for laugh. We got the chocolates. That is a win. For the first time listener that doesn't potentially know Yana, Mm -hmm. uh, it is is important that you are aware that she's been on the show a few times before. She provides a great laugh. Oh, actually, she's very hard to make laugh, but yeah. she provides a great laugh. Yep. I also have like an intro of the most embarrassing moment potentially in podcast history where I asked her if she still had her baby. Uh, goes like this. You've still got the baby, obviously. Yep, still have her. <laughs> is there something wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. So that's Yana. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to report, still have the baby. Still going. That's, great That's news. nice. Baby's still going. Yep. Excellent. Which is good. Going and strong. Very well mothered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good on you. Uh, fantastic. Now, the other thing that Yana does is often actually try and pull myself and skin. Careful with that sentence. Uh, just get us out of the get us out of the dog house. <laughs> Elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell. Ah, it's good to be back. Uh, good to be back in yeah, Brisbane. I thought nice. that was going to really help my performance mm, and mm-hmm. I've cooked it. Not after. to be. <laughs> Two minutes and 10 seconds. Up. Good. Uh, Yana gets us out of the doghouse often. And I think, Skin, you actually have an example now, do you? Oh, no. She also sprayed me about washing my bed sheets once because you meant to do it like more than bi monthly, apparently. No, no, no. Oh. So when you told me you were washing them, it was once every six months. Yeah, you were not doing them bi monthly. <laughs> every six months. And actually, bi monthly would have been good. Yeah, yeah. that would have been. Yeah, that's You'd acceptable. be pleased to know I did them yesterday. <laughs> and how long? Yeah. How long? Well, you before? seem to be cutting out there, Yarns, for some yep. reason. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. I'm not but, sure. Anyway, yeah. it's good. You have a question. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, and and yeah, exactly. We've we've asked Yarns plenty of questions, like why I'm always in the doghouse and how do I get out? And the Chockies have sent in questions. And if you if you've got another one, please feel free to send us an email. I kind of happen to have the perfect example that I realised today. It's Eloise's birthday tomorrow, and I don't have a present. <laughs> You don't. No, you don't. Yeah. Okay. So Good. any advice? Oh, I'm sure Yana <laughs> really helped the day no. before. Stop. No. Stop at Carindale on the way home at midnight or yeah. – They do late night shopping on a Monday. Yeah. Anyone? Yeah, just does, beg them to open. Does Amazon just offer one on day door. shipping in yeah, they do. Australia? Um, oh. Yana, is there anything on your person okay. that you want to sell this evening? Yeah. <laughs> so, absolutely not. <laughs> I recall us having the same conversation last year. Uh, yeah. It doesn't surprise me, I'll be honest. Um, Probably. I think then you were saying, oh, I've left it. It's a week before. Yeah. And even that, I was like, that's pretty bad, you know, shipping cut off mm. a day. Yeah, this is a new level. Actually, I think last year what I ended up doing for Eloise's birthday was on her birthday, she bought something online and I gave her my card. Okay. That's really bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was not my best. And she and still it looks said like, yes. It looks like you, we're on track again this year. You got down on one knee and she still said yes. Yeah. All right. Well, talk to Eloise about that. Yeah. Um, yeah that's concerning. <laughs> what about, okay, I'll actually help you out. Helpful suggestion. Yeah. Um, a voucher for like a, an experience or like a thing. Rather yeah. than like a, a physical present, like yeah. send her on a massage. Yeah, because then like the email arrives immediately. That's yep. perfect. And flowers. She uh, really likes skydiving, I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have heard that <laughs> from Eloise. Swimming she always, with sharks, Yeah, she's skydiving. always asked me about those things. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Okay, but, problem solved. Thank you. Um, you now, speaking of um, girls that you're getting to know, I uh, have a story from the weekend. <laughs> okay, that's a weird way to <laughs> so, intro yeah. that, but girls that's that you're fine. getting to know. <laughs> yeah, so like, I've known Eloise for about 10 years, oh, yeah, just to so clarify. You, but you still <laughs> yeah. get to know. Yeah, okay, right. I mean, you learn more about people every day. <laughs> that's what I've always said uh, <laughs> with myself and my – the girl that I'm getting to know. Uh, now, you know how people on Instagram <laughs> stop <Keep> going. <laughs> now, people on Instagram sometimes do like soft launches of their significant sure, other, yeah. like where they'll yeah. get like their yeah. thumb appears in it or something yeah, like that. The back of the head. Yeah. Oh, yeah, who's, there, yeah this like, mysterious oh, figure. Yeah. I wonder who they've got. Oh, no, it's their mother or whatever. But um, <laughs> well, that probably doesn't happen <laughs> as often. But just depends. Yes, um, yeah, but I had a story that's pretty much the opposite of that. So on the weekend, uh, oh, you did a hard launch. It okay. was a hard launch, like a genuine hard launch, which is not great. Um, 
well, it could have been great, but it didn't go great. Uh, Rochelle came to, oh, damn it, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Rochelle came Can you to watch it? me. Yeah, I'll bleep it out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rochelle came to watch me play cricket on Saturday. But uh, she brought her entire family. Oh. Like, <laughs> so the boys from cricket have like seen. I think they've seen Michelle like walk a lap of the field or whatever. But they've never like interacted her with her, spoken mm-hmm. to her. Don't really even know her. Rather than introducing them to just Michelle, uh, she had a dad, sister, and her sister's partner all there in the grandstand. It's a club mm-hmm. cricket game, so they're the only five people there. Yeah, four people. Good. Uh, and they came just as I was walking out to bat. And I faced an unbelievably great 20 balls and then played the worst shot of my career to get out and really did not handle the pressure whatsoever, Uh, Mm. which was a lovely sort of first impression to make. I'm sure the Mm -hmm. family will be back to watch me play cricket again. I'm sure they would have had a great day. Actually, the next morning, Rochelle's dad sort of sent sent like a message in the group saying like, oh, how nice is the bay look this morning? You have a group chat. Yeah. Okay. Hard launch. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I think that was actually launched that morning as well. Yeah. (laughs) I don't think you need to worry about the cricket game. You're in a group chat, you're sorted, you're fine. I know. And and I was like, oh, that looks amazing. Probably slightly better than the shot that you watched me play yesterday. And he wrote back saying, Lee, don't put shit on yourself. And I was like, oh, what a nice man. Like, this is elite. He had like the dot, dot, dot though. So I was like, oh, no. See more. Something else is coming. (laughs) And he said, let me do it. It's far more fun. (laughs) Damn it. Good. Yeah. So that's the impression I was able to make. Okay. Um, It's not the worst. Really? So I don't know if you know how. Matt and I met. No, mm. Matt, who okay. is my husband. Your husband, yeah. yes. So we met at a table tennis tournament, which was hosted in my dad's garage. <laughs> oh, yep. so it's not really a tournament. It's <laughs> a pretty low key tournament. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, it was my dad, who was in his mid 50s, versus like, I think there were four 20 year olds. Excellent. And dad won. Yeah. Um, and Matt came dead last. <laughs> like, not like, oh, it was close. It was it was Horrible. embarrassing. Bad. And okay. I still married him. Yeah. So And does your dad like hold that against him? Hate every him? every day of his life. <laughs> <laughs> every day of his life. Uh, my dad's a massive table tennis enthusiast. Oh, I need to And he has a table. Yeah, so he yeah. like brings it out on Christmas, mm. Easter, whenever we're there for like a big family lunch and mm. it, yeah. it's a running joke. So. I've played in one of these table, tom- table tennis have, yeah. competitions with your dad. Yeah. And there's a reason you haven't played again. <laughs> yes, I yeah. also came dead last. He gave me like a duck or something. Yeah. Like yeah. A it's the ceramic duck, so the duck, duck. gets yeah. passed along. Yeah, so. he's never asked for it back. I still have the duck. Do you? <laughs> yeah. We don't know what happened to the duck. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> You're not meant to take it home. Not. <laughs> he gave it to me. <laughs> you leave the it there. Blue, wait, the blue ceramic duck? Yeah, I've got a ceramic duck. Your dad gave me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I should. My dad's going to be I assumed he stopped toasting them with COVID or no, something. No, no, we've had, we've had several since. He hasn't hosted one since because he can't find his duck. No, we've, did we've no one, hosted did the, them. Did it not occur to anyone? Like, hey, remember that guy that was horrendous at table tennis? Maybe let's ask him. You know what's really funny is that no one would remember who came, who got the duck after Matt. Matt was just like, right, he okay. just, it's like the line in the sand. But we've had to go and find a new duck at the op oh, shop because that's okay. where the first duck came from. Right. Because where else do you find a ceramic duck for yeah, I don't know. a reasonable yeah. price? Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what they get pay? <laughs> Plenty inflation. They, yeah, they get pricey. <laughs> yeah, well, if you want if you want the original, yeah, I'll, I'll bring it around. Okay. Yeah, hopefully it's not like that shirt that you've meant oh. to bring, Mickers, for the last six day weeks. Still waiting. Yeah, one day. Yeah, I think so. We'll bring the duck a little bit quicker. Uh, now, can you also give us a joke of the week? Can. Yep, we uh, we have an audio one sent in every week at the bottom of our website. We got the chocolates.com.au. You'll find a little speak pipe voice recording thing down the bottom there on our homepage if you'd like to hear yourself. This one comes in from Dylan, I believe. Yeah, good day, lads. Just got a joke of the day for you. I unfortunately got a call the other day that one of my good mates died from severe heartburn. I just still can't believe Gav has gone. <laughs> you do one now, skin. <laughs> Very nice. Will everyone get <laughs> that? Good. If you're an international listener, do you have Gaviscon? I don't know. I, don't know. I assume. Ask, you know. ask the Brit. Yep. Oh. Thumbs up. Oh. Yes. Gaviscon. Oh, okay. well, so well, at least in Australia and the UK, two countries. Obviously wonderful yeah. people if they want to jump yeah. on board. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. No, Perfect. Fantastic. Quite a specific sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, a bad heartburn yeah. for the 20th week in a row. <laughs> 
Uh, and you've got a written one, Skid? I do, yeah. Also had a written one sent in. I think there's a submission box on our, our website as well, if that's your preference. This one comes from Nathan. It's a bit lengthy this week, actually, so bear with what me. about the joke? Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> a piece of tarmac swaggers into a bar, gives everyone a dirty look and rudely asks for a beer as the bartender pours the pint. The piece of tarmac lets everyone know that he's the hardest guy in town. Everyone's scared of him. He gets his pint, sto- <laughs> stores out a few more, stares a few more people down and orders another. As he's waiting, a red piece of tarmac walks into the bar. The black piece of tarmac runs into a corner, hides in a booth, says nothing and looks very sheepish. The red tarmac calmly nurses his beer and leaves. Then the black tarmac comes back to the beer, acting all big and tough and orders another drink. The bartender says, I thought you said you were the toughest guy in town. And the black tarmac says, I am, but that guy's a fucking psychopath. <laughs> A cycle path. <laughs> okay. That was a long build up. <laughs> also and horrendously it wasn't worth red. It. What do you mean? It wasn't worth it. <laughs> it was, it's a long joke, would, and I get excited when people are yeah, like, it's a long joke because yeah. usually the punchline's quite strong. Yeah. It's not there. Uh, <laughs> so bad. Is the problem the delivery or the joke? Oh, probably a mixture of both. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say it's a 50 50. Both split could have been better. Uh, good try, Skin. Uh, that that was hurts. Not. Well, I did try. Yeah, I'm sending it anyway. Sorry, Nathan, as well, if I've bloody. I'm not. Uh, it's all right. Nathan should have done it himself. That's true. You should have voice recorded it, Nathan. Yeah. Nathan, that's your fault for what has happened. You're responsible for that. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the next guest we get on helps. Uh, all right. So you might have noticed that Gody is not here this evening, but he did have – he's on a holiday. Shock. 15th time this year yeah. and we're in February. Uh, but we he got a message that he gave us about uh, some housekeeping for the NRL super coach group that he's put up. Yep. He built a group. Uh, he's – Told a few people about it. <laughs> Built it. <laughs> Got on the tour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Working really hard. I mean, he's a I carpenter. Think- <laughs> <laughs> tried. Sorry, I think he went to supercoach.com.au and pressed ad league probably. And uh, yeah, we've ended up with one of those. I think they might be, I think we cracked 100. I think there's over 100 people in there. So if you, if NRL Supercoach is something that interests you, feel free to join us. Yeah, I know be- you joined. Can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know until just now, but I can't wait. But yeah, I think we're we're planning on dishing out some prizes. We haven't still still haven't worked out what they are in the last two weeks. Uh, but yeah, we'll Is that chuck. Swin? Yeah, <laughs> so usually so yeah, I know we're, we're normally really all over it. Mm. Uh, but we'll chuck the link to that group in the description of the episode. On, if you're on Spotify, YouTube, wherever you are, uh, go check that out. And then we've also just been since announcing the NRL competition, we just got absolutely flooded with requests for an <laughs> AFL competition. <laughs> by which I mean we got one email. So, <laughs> so, <mentioned> yeah. <laughs> so we will have an AFL group by the time you're listening to this as well on Thursday, which will also be in the description, so go check that out. Perfect. Right. Uh, now, speaking of NRL, I saw a news item today which was loosely connected to the NRL. That's a good segue. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is a real loose connection. Yeah. 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 Russell Crowe, you may know from such movies as The Gladiator mm. and I'm sure all those other good ones he's done. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what are the other ones? Master and Commander. Wasn't he in like Beautiful Mind? Was that other, like Marvel uh, movie? There was, was in a Marvel movie recently. Thor. Oh, he was, yeah, Thor. Yeah, he was in Thor. There's yeah. that movie where he searches for water. Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay. Oh, it was a really yes. good movie. Rainmaker or something. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's the Why end of that segment. All I wanted to get through was five <laughs> yeah. Russell Crowe films. <laughs> <laughs> no, what actually happened is he didn't get let in. Also, to- can we explain the NRL link? He owns a car. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he owns a- <laughs> Does he own? The South City Rabbitohs. Yeah. Gosh, we fact-checked immensely. <laughs> <for this. laughs> <laughs> Someone check that. Charlie, is the only uh, – anyway, we'll get back to you on that one. Uh, so, yes, that's the NRL reference, the South Sydney Rabbitohs, who Gody also loves passionately. He's yet mad about the Rabbitohs. So that's why we thought it needed to go in. But the interesting thing was he was not <laughs> allowed to come into a Japanese restaurant today mm. due to the fact that his dress code was poor apparently. Uh, well, he'd and, gone and played tennis. Yeah. So he was in like tennis whites and then – he and his girlfriend went and tried to have lunch or dinner. At Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi, Japanese yeah. restaurant in mm. Melbourne. Yeah, which we've done a little bit of research and it doesn't look like the most sort of like swanky restaurant you could is. possibly go to. But yeah. I think they like have their rules of no thongs, no swimwear, no active wear. Do you think right. it was more BO related? Potentially. <laughs> what is Russell Crowe's odor? Wow. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to think about that. No, well, that's true. Long. Also, yeah. by the way, but what do you think Russell Crowe would be like as a tennis player? Aggressive. 
<laughs> I can't explain that's it. Fair. Yeah. yeah, okay. It's just the vibe I get. Yeah, not, that's fair. Oh, yeah, I'm not picturing particularly mobile. No. Or agile. <laughs> <you say that>? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, rough. <laughs> just the gladiator, Russell Crowe, maybe. Yeah, maybe. That's true, yeah. I he think, could surprise yeah, us all. Yeah. Mm. Right. Okay, yep. Well, that's his tennis skills. His being underdressed was a Ralph Lauren polo. Yeah. <laughs> Is that not harsh? <laughs> okay, but I also feel like, were, was he wearing like shorts? Yeah, yeah okay. the article does not specify what's happening below the belt. Yeah, like and a polo mean- shirt I think is fine for dinner. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah. that you mean? No. Yeah, <laughs> There's more men in terms of attire. Let's, let's just dig into that a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that, I feel like that would be important information yeah. to get as well. Like if he's wearing jeans and joggers, obviously no. But that's if he's wearing like joggers not. and shorts... Maybe also, I don't know. I just can't imagine a restaurant ever punting someone. Wouldn't they want to yeah. get? Yeah, that's money. what I don't get. They, they put they like came out in like defending their position. It was like when no one's above the rules. It's like you kind a, of like that. I like it. Like you treat everyone the same, yeah. but like you're a restaurant. Just yeah, like you know, it's he not the, like it's not the, the law. law. It's like, yeah, like mm, just for, I don't know, I'm trying to buy your food. Just why would you not sell it to me? Yeah, I get confused by dress codes at the best okay. of times. So, like, the only ones you ever see is casual, semi-formal, and formal. Yeah. So, which one would this one be? It can't be casual if they're like. I, I would they, say that if you have no dress casual. They said smart casual. Smart yeah. casual. So was that's there. just they've just introduced which is a, a gray confusing. Area. That's yeah. a confusing gray area for like a dress code. So, but smart I casual would is say, different to semi-formal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very. Mm-hmm. Crikey. I would say that's like a polo shirt's fine, but it would be like chino even shorts but like chino shorts you yeah. know what i mean you're not wearing like ruggers and no thongs <laughs> yeah okay no very fair <laughs> okay all right but yeah, then well. so sorry you go no i had nothing so no, you go. Brilliant. yeah i'll go there <laughs> <laughs> that was well organized uh so since since they defended their position they've then went ahead and changed their dress code this is a good posted, way to do it. posted their new dress code they've got a plaque outside their restaurant chucked it up on instagram with a caption uh, dear Russell, during our last visit, it seems we got off on the wrong foot. After much reflection on what has occurred, we've made a permit to change to our dress code. Um, and the dress code is... You sure you didn't mean permanent? Uh, yeah, I definitely meant permanent. <laughs> we've made a permanent change to our dress code. I'm not sure what uh, yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> That was a, whatever. The, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some sort of typo, but... Uh, dress smart, casual, unless you're Russell Crowe, then wear whatevs. Whatevs. That's, whatevs. That's actually, it's that's literally whatevs. Yeah. That's the new yeah. dress code. That's um, funny. But we I think, don't, yeah, you sorry. go. Again. They're all like, oh, no. <laughs> this is just smooth sailing. We need like a, like a, what's those like talking sticks that you like pass? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think they were saying that the guy who was like seating people at the restaurant didn't know who Russell Crowe was. So, that would not help. So for him, he was just like, there's a guy that's just trying to get in. And How isn't. could you possibly? I mean, have you seen the water diviner? There Such is a, a great lot. <laughs> oh, is that- <laughs> Where was that three minutes ago when we were trying to name <laughs> Russell Crowe? <laughs> I googled it. Yeah, right. Got a text. Well, I would like to test. I would like to test this a little bit more. I reckon the the whole like dress as whatevs. If you're mm-hmm. Russell, yeah. Bro. Do you think we don't spend a lot of time in Melbourne, which surprises people? I think because we have mustaches and like coffee. Everyone always thinks like the other day when we were at the airport, and yeah. the guy was like, "What wow. are you guys doing here?" Yeah. Well, I mean, we live here yeah. <laughs> in Brisbane. Yeah. Um, but next time we're in Melbourne, surely we're going dressed as Russell Crowe characters mm-hmm. to Miss Miyagi. Yeah. And see if we can just like get. Let in to eat so lunch dressed exactly as a gladiator. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, okay. We're doing it, yeah. <laughs> And we will let, report back and let you know. Yeah, love it. Now, uh, if you're a first-time listener, we do a segment called Must or Dust, which is what we use as a rating system to decide generally if something is either good, meaning must, or bad, meaning dust. Uh, and there is no sitting on the fence, in theory, in this segment. And there is a jingle, obviously. I'm not an idiot. Is this master dust? Is this master dust? It won't take too long, so don't get it wrong. Is this master dust? Yeah, that wasn't me on guitar, (laughs) unfortunately. Uh, that was me. But Thanks for clarifying. Uh, also, unfortunately. <laughs> also, unfortunately. <laughs> you know, in hindsight, like we need to speed that up because it says it won't take too long and then the jingle and goes for ever. so long. Yeah. Yeah. It goes for a long time. The jingle goes for so long. It's okay, though. Anyway, Mustard Dust, Yana, you're familiar with this game, aren't you? I am, yeah. Okay, well, it's not really a game. I mean, it's a segment. We're quite serious here. Uh, Gody again, he's on holiday. Uh, he sent in this one, the first one, phrases such as, and this is on Instagram captions, Phrases such as ride or die or partner in crime <laughs> for couple photos. Dust. 
Dust. Dust. Dust. Dust, yeah. Oh. I mean, unless you and your partner are hardened criminals. In <laughs> which case. It's like the prison. Uh, yeah. have, you, have you ever seen the Don't prison TikTok? Don't let me TikTok? tell you what to do, yeah. Have you ever had that come up, like prison talk? I have and not, it's people no. who are literally incarcerated okay. just on TikTok somehow. Oh, then you can use it. Yeah. Genuinely. Look it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Okay, how is that on your for you page? <laughs> Blame the algorithm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not in charge. Okay, so we're all, yes, with the exception of yeah. genuinely criminals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Uh, what about this one? Hot cross buns. Just in general? Just in general, mm. yeah. Dust. Okay. See, I'm a dust. I don't like them. Yeah, what? Say, yeah, dust. I'd say dust as well. But my, like, sorry. Charlie's just as shocked as me. And not, I don't like them. They're not good. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's how the game What's works. What's wrong with them? Do you like bread? <laughs> Yeah, see, now that you put it like that, <laughs> I, I, I do, do like. I do I'm, quite like bread. I'm yeah. really fond of bread. Weird. What else? Is it know? like the raisins you don't like? No, I quite like raisins. Yeah. <laughs> What's actually? That? They are quite. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> Actually, I really like hot cross buns. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, <they're nice. laughs> <laughs> right, is it okay. the, the like tiny piece of dough like, that makes the cross? If I peeled that off, it's just yeah, it's well, literally just a roll. You know what I think it is? is the cross dough. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Isn't it? I don't know. What do you put on your whole cross bun? Just butter or are you like jam and cream or something? Toast it, bit of butter. Okay. That's all you need. Yeah, mm. sure. A chalk chip hot cross bun. You can try that. I've never tried it. I'd say yeah, I like right. normal hot cross buns more. Yeah. <sighs> I don't so, trust you, your vegans. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah well, that, that was the caveat <laughs> yeah. is like the hot cross buns I can eat are shit. So. Actually, yeah, there's yeah. two vegans yeah. at the table both saying <laughs> hot cross buns What do you suck. say? Oh, you're oh I just, I've got nothing to say about them. They're just I've just never really eaten them. Okay. I just, just Dust. I don't Good. think you can yeah. contribute then to muscle well, dust. That's why I didn't say anything until yeah. I got asked. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. For the first time tonight, you're on mute. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I got talked around to Mars there. I can't wait for Easter. Um, <laughs> they're in the shops now. <laughs> they've probably been in the shops since they're, like They've been in day. the shops since literally. I was going to say, January. I think that's always a problem. I feel like by yeah. the time I eat them, they're stale. Okay, they're not the same ones. <laughs> <laughs> I keep them for six weeks, <laughs> then I try to eat them, and then they suck. So, what the heck's wrong with them? <laughs> uh, one liter bottles of milk is the next one. Uh, I well, uh, yeah, I drink soy milk, and they only come in one liter bottles. <laughs> 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 I have to say, it's must. Vegan is it's got yeah. really swaying this segment. I will. What I will Can say. Can we is, specify that it's cow's milk? Uh, Just specify that because then the vegans have to decide. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, then dust. Just dust. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, dust. Why just dust because it's cow's yeah. milk. I hate the tea and bottles just, tea. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. every litre. Just, yeah, you got to go for the best bang for your buck. That's why I hate the one litre bottles. I'm paying like two bucks a litre. Yeah. Not just, a I think that's where I stand more yeah. so is that I just feel like one litre is too small. Like yeah. as in by the time you've had two coffees, that's yeah. it, you're done. Yeah, yeah two coffees. Yeah. Same reason. If you have wheat bix and a Milo. Game yeah. over. Especially Whenever. with a baby because, like, <laughs> Remy drinks, like, three bottles of milk a day. Yeah. We go through three litres every two days. Yeah. So my toxic trait would be if I'm in a supermarket and I yeah. see someone walking with a one-litre bottle of milk, mm. I'd judge them and think they're a loser straight away <laughs> without talking to them. That is toxic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you, that's you should be a nicer person than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess if you don't drink a lot of milk. But anyway, uh, mm. that's good. Um, what about now oh, – what else do I have here? Prince Albert piercings is in here for some reason. Absolute must. <laughs> oh my god, hell yeah. Yeah, I'd go a must. <laughs> but he didn't say. What are the odds, Michael, of you getting one? Mm. We oh, spoke well, skin, about this. Skin's yeah. already getting one. Yeah. So. You know, skin's getting one. I do one. need some moral I, support on the day. I do one in ten. One in ten. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's Lee, do you want to count? I'll count you. In, yeah. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Three. Two, one, three. Seven. Oh, oh, seven. I'm lucky I went with the seven. That's where I got lucky last time. Damn it. And by lucky, I mean it doesn't really have a great <laughs> impact on my life. I kind of wish that we just said the same number. I'm I'm really cool. yeah. Okay. okay. I then, mean, it's still an option for you. You have free will. Could, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> now, Jan, I've got one more for you before Skin takes away a couple, thanks to his um, good mate. Uh, sure. The word slay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big at the moment. But it's, it was a like, no. oh, it, it? it's a no unless you're a drag queen. I oh, feel like wow. drag queens can get away with it. Slay. Yeah. That's a real shame because I've been using it heaps. <laughs> <laughs> well, because people comment, they comment on our videos saying this video slays or like he slays nah, or nah. whatever. I, and I what, like how do you reply to them? Unless they're a drag queen. <laughs> do you not just say what? thanks? I say, <laughs> why do you say like <laughs> thanks? You, slay. you also slay. <laughs> 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 What do you think? <laughs> what do you reply? 
<laughs> say thanks. Can't skip Man, slide off Rudolph that. or something. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, get me your mouse ones. <laughs> I haven't got mouse ones. I've got. We did a segment on artificial intelligence last week, so I. Well, firstly, artificial intelligence master dust. Dust. Mm, oh. <laughs> okay. Although it's given us content, yeah, must. yeah it's I'm really again. I mean, really improved yeah. the production of our podcast. So yeah. I'm saying must, and Thank then you. so I went to. I'll say must. Right, Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Even Thanks, as a Michael. vegan. And then, <laughs> especially, <laughs> and then so I went to old Chat GPT uh, to ask for some muscle dust topics. Oh, it gave me a few good ones, but does Chat GPT know what muscle dust is? Because that's great testimony for our podcast. I explained muscle dust to Chat GPT. It didn't. It sure, he didn't explain it. To, is it he or him? So I don't they know. They yeah. didn't explain it to you. Uh, nope, definitely not. Like, <laughs> it had never heard. It had never heard of us. I Damn had the like. I spent like an hour telling it about our show, and yeah, here we all are. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> so it gave us some good ones, but the first one was indicating in a car. <laughs> <laughs> Is that mustard dust? <laughs> That's the it's literally. <laughs> the- <laughs> What is wrong with this? <laughs> I told it. It's like some debatable, controversial topics, and it was like indicators. <laughs> okay. Pretty sure that's In fairness, just the law. I reckon when people are driving straight off roundabouts, you know how you got taught that you had to do the indicate off the roundabout thing? No one does that, do they, surely? I, I still do that. I yeah. do, yeah. Yeah, same. <laughs> No, but you lived you lived in Adelaide. For I do because I'm not an animal. Yeah. I'm not an animal. I want people to know because how annoying is it when you're waiting to go That's so and you're true, like, is yeah. this person turning? Are they not? You just go straight. And you could have gone, and, and now like- I can't go. I judge it by their velocity. Okay. Which you would understand as a chemist. Skin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chemistry. All over, yeah. <laughs> if they're going real hard, you know they're going straight. That's fair. Mm. If they've slowed down, they're going right <laughs> or left. Anyway, all right. Next one. Yeah, couple more. Watching the news. Dust. 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 Yeah. People do that. <laughs> Dust. Not Dust. many people. Remember that time we did that segment on Channel 10's new morning show and it got like 43 viewers in oh, Sydney. Yeah. Like, so not many people, stiff. but yeah, yeah unlucky. Uh, multivitamins. <laughs> uh, see, that's dust for me personally. I'm going to say dust because mm. it's a lot. What? What? <laughs> no. What do you want to say? Well, that's a vegan. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say must, but I don't take them. <laughs> okay. well, I should take them. <laughs> I no, I reckon dust. Someone needs to say must. No one said must. <laughs> yeah, we've, hot cross we've had a lot of dust. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of it's not as absorbable as you think, so yeah. you just end up like Yeah, and like if you're out. deficient in one thing, just take that thing. Yeah. I agree. But what's the harm in taking it? Just take it. It's okay. placebo. It's not, Why don't it's you not take harmful. It it's that it does nothing. I do. <laughs> All right. All right. Fantastic. They're, they're as good as power bands. <laughs> <laughs> and then last but not least, <laughs> taking your shoes off at the door when you walk inside. <laughs> Must. <Yeah>. Dust. <laughs> <laughs> It depends whose house you're at. Yeah, that's true. If I'm at someone else's house, must. So we're at house, we're doing it, apparently. Yeah. 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 At at my own house, I would rather walk to where I put my shoes in my cupboard and then take them off. I appreciate Mm. you walking us through that. Shoes are gross. Shoes are gross. What did, by the way, Skin, the pair of shoes say to the hat? (laughs) You go on ahead, I'll follow on foot. I will laugh. I will. Laugh. Laugh I will. I will. Uh. Now, two weeks ago, you may remember listening, or you may be listening for the first time. In which case, uh, Skin, you had quite a big moment on the podcast a couple of weeks ago. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And well, I've got some audio. If you don't want to take us through it firsthand, I can play it for you. This All is right. what happened. A guy at work named Willie Pearson. He was known as <laughs> Prince Albert. <laughs> God, that would hurt, eh? <laughs> you had that done? I haven't. No. Would you ever? Certainly. What are the odds of you getting that done? <laughs> One in. Would you do it for the show? Yeah. If 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 I lose the odds game, sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll give me the odds. One in fifty. Oh, oh that's better. Okay. Three, two, one. Twenty-seven. 27. Oh, every time I listen to it, it does still blow my mind. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> One in 50 is brave. That's. I thought that was enough. I uh, no, I well, I mean, Miggas mm. did one in 10 before yeah, it was no, enough. So that's yeah. something like it. Anyway, to talk us through it because, Skin, I don't think you – well, I'm sure you've had some discussion about it with your significant other, which is Eloise, who's yep. now sitting on your left at the moment. So, yeah. Eloise, hello. 
Hello. Hello. We've had plenty of discussions about it. Have you? Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh, right. And are you in the affirmative or negative <laughs> camp in this debate? What do you think? You think I'm the yeah, oh. no. <laughs> Incorrect. Okay. How yeah. did you deliver the news? How did you react? Take us through it. Well, I saw it on we got no, I asked you how did the podcast go last yeah. night? And you said, Oh, oh no. Well, and just like I knew something happened. <sighs> Yeah. And then Did you expect news. that? Is that what your no, mind went? No, that's not what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> that's the last thing I expected. Yeah. How'd the podcast go? Not that well, actually. Oh my gosh, you're getting a Prince Albert. <laughs> 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 but Eloise was programmed to do. Yeah. But the reaction I was expecting was along the lines of just like, oh my God, you're an idiot. I can't believe you have to do that. Like, oh. Yeah, so and that was not the reaction I got at all. It what, was, was it anger? It was quite angry, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like I'd be angry. really, yeah. Like, you'd be angry. Like, strongly against it. Well, you're like, yeah I'm, yeah, I'm doing it, and I was like, you're not doing it. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's Surely the odds game's just a game. Yeah, and apparently not. It's happening. No, well, I'll be honest. Otherwise, myself and Mikus were like disgusted by it. We were like, "Nah, you're not doing that. That this is going. Oh, you can Mitchell. hear Mikus. <laughs> you can hear Mikus go like, you no, can't you, can't, it. you can't, you can't.' And then wait, Mitch, and Mitchell's skin, the one. Yeah, skin <gasps> so you're well, the one like, to blame. I'm not saying I really want one. To clarify. <laughs> It sounds, I'm more like, saying, it sounds like you've yeah. been given three separate people no, going, yes. don't do it, and you're going, mm, I no. might just though. <laughs> the issue is if we if you just asked me what are the odds and I lost the game, I would be like, oh, I never agreed to play. It doesn't really matter. Who cares? It's just a stupid odd game. But I couldn't any more explicitly have said, yes, I will do this if I lose the odds game. It is true. You just listen And then I lost the odds yeah. game. <laughs> it's like he 100% oh, If I'm any it. kind of man like, of my word, I kind of have to do yeah, it. Yeah, I feel like that's the point where it's just like, I was just kidding. Like you just, yeah, just like, backtrack ha, ha, straight joking. away like, huh, jokes. Downs are not very good at telling jokes. How am I meant to, <laughs> how am I meant to convince <laughs> people that, that, was, knows that was a joke? <laughs> 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 just convince the whole audience. Yeah, I mean, that was a massive piss take, obviously. <laughs> so, That's <laughs> exactly <laughs> what you say. <laughs> Yana, tonight, when we said, well, Mitch is, yeah, we told Yana like, oh, we got to talk about Mitch getting a Prince Albert. And Yana was like, why are we talking about that? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> why is this an option? What is yeah. happening? Now, well, we, um, yeah, sorry, Eloise, I, mm. I know that because I obviously tried to give Skin sort of the way out and he was like, look, it's the odds game, I lost, I have to do it. Uh, we figured now we probably should get some of the chockies involved and I'm sure you'd appreciate that help. Like neither of us, you or yeah. I, are experts mm. on mm. Prince Albert's. Um, I wouldn't have thought, Eloise. Thank God. <laughs> I've had plenty of experience with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Easy ways. Um, <laughs> can we Obviously just get not. that Those little are. bit of audio yeah. isolated? <laughs> <laughs> so we sort of thought we'd, our next step really is that because, Skin, you look committed to doing this, but I think it would be ridiculous to go on a whim, just, all right, someone's shove a needle down my... That's exactly right, yeah. I've, I've, <laughs> I've got what? some concerns. It's, yeah, I'm not... Sorry. So wait, that was that. Okay. So the Prince Albert is an option and it's probably happening. You were going to just let someone with a needle like no, here? No, 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 oh, no. Okay. Yeah. I was like, what is happening? Oh, a home job. <laughs> I literally thought that's what Lee was just explaining no, was going to happen. And I was like. The, that's not the next segment. No, I think. <laughs> Holy moly. I think we, there was a miscommunication yeah. there. I was saying exactly. Megas, have you finished your warm up? <laughs> <laughs> What are the odds I get to do the Prince Albert? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not making okay, service that's fine. One I'm in glad, a thousand. I'm glad to just um, yeah. so, put that no, to So, no, all we mean is that rather than just sort of like go, oh, yeah, sweet, let's go and get this done, it would be nice, like, if there a chockey, are you out there and you're listening and you've actually got yeah. a Prince Albert? Or, as we found out, Prince Albert's not the only type of <laughs> appendage piercing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I've done a little bit of homework now, and that's oh, like yeah. I, that's not just a general term. That's a particular type. You've got the reverse Prince Albert. You've got the Magic Cross. It's, oh, wow. The ladder jack. There's it's there's a few <laughs> options. There is. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. it's unusual. And we we oh there was even pictures out there of like bananas with the piercing, <laughs> so that you can just sort of like picture what it's going to look like. Yeah, I mean that's probably a bit ambitious. The banana uh, lady lady. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. But yes, if you have a any sort of connection or area what? of what? Like, like magnetic connection. Like, no, yeah. sorry, sorry. Oh, God. If you if you know a piercer, I'd right. love to talk to a piercer about yes. the risks of the infection. If your last name's like Pearson and you would yes, like to go with exactly skin and get that done. Um, <laughs> no, but we would actually like to talk to someone that may potentially have some experience in like what what are the risks? Because I mean like there's 
obviously there's pros and cons to everything. And the cons are it looks quite painful. Yeah. <laughs> and the pros we're still trying to find. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure they're out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing a lot of cons. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the cons are your fiance hates you. Yes. Yeah. That should be big the biggest con. con. <laughs> that big is a big con. con. Yeah. Mm. I also thought Eloise would be in the minority. I, for some reason. I, Wait, sorry, <laughs> of not agreeing with it? Yeah, of thinking it was a bad idea. I, I was like, oh, I'm going to go. I'll, Who I'll go. are you friends <laughs> with? I don't know. <laughs> no, not, not based on my friends. Just like I thought the general population, I reckon they'll get around it. So I like went looking for forums. Like what, <laughs> what do women think of penis piercings? I didn't find anyone that said a positive thing about them. No one. Yeah, no. Wow, no shocking one. news. I, like, yeah. Even went to the great people at Reddit. Okay, no one. If you um, can't find on Reddit, this yeah, is, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I just realised we may have a problem here because we don't have that many listeners that, <laughs> <laughs> that we are going to be speaking directly to yeah. someone that, yeah. <laughs> that actually has There could be zero people with yeah, connections. They're pole pierced. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that's... Yeah. Yeah. We can't really put a pole for yeah. it, can we? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Wes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm well, so sorry. <laughs> um, well, Wes. It seems like he's got his mind made up. So I'm mm. just, I mean, it, uh, it was the odds game, Wes. You can't. It's like signing. Let's yeah. play. What are the odds of you changing your mind? <gasps> oh. Oh, sorry. We're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we want to stay up to date with the lingo of modern day society and that is why we play a game called Fictionary and... So one, two, three, it's the Urban Dictionary. I got some slang in mind that I really want you to define. <laughs> Did you like that one? <laughs> what happened, Yana? I just didn't expect it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Yana, you wouldn't... <laughs> It wouldn't happen to sing, but <laughs> you wouldn't have to, maybe. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, it's uh, so as the uh, jingle suggests, it is consulting the Urban Dictionary, grabbing some of the words that are big on there at the moment, and seeing if you guys, that is you, and obviously play along as you are listening. But Mika's skin and Yana, you're playing against each other whilst I do the hosting. Mm-hmm. Like Grant Daniel mm-hmm. sort of vibe, mm-hmm. but not family feud. It's yeah. fictionary. Okay. Um, I think that's a good ex- explanation. So I'll read a, the word and an example sentence, and then it's just first in best dressed with your buzzers. Yep. What? Do you have a buzzer? What's the? What's yeah. the buzzer? You just say Japan. You say <laughs> Prince think- Albert. <laughs> yeah, no, you choose yours. Oh, why do I get? Uh, I want one given to me. You don't want buzz. <laughs> Buzz. That's Buzz. normally mine. So much quicker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, now there is no losing points if you answer it wrong as well. So we want we want uh, answers quickly, and I'll just determine who is closest to the definition. The yeah. first word is yoink. Uh, uh, Japan. You. No, <laughs> get an example sentence. All right. Yeah, go on. Well, I don't know. Anyway, like, taking something off someone. Yoink. Yeah, I'll give that. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh yeah, that's that? fair. It was sort of wrong, but <laughs> also right. Happening? Nah, I was pressed both at once. Uh, a word to describe the act of stealing something. First, no, you don't need to know that. Uh, the Simpsons. Nah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the it. The Simpsons. That's the, the example that uh, I. Well, exactly apparently, what I had this in my head. person on Urban Yoink. Dictionary says that the Simpsons shamelessly copied the saying and claimed to invent it themselves. Apparently, it first was used in the social network sites like CoK. I've never heard of it. Cost of keeping. Anyway, we'll move on to the next one. And the next one is text man. Don't bang your text man. He's just for text. <laughs> <laughs> that fairly gives it away. <laughs> Someone get in. Say again. What did he say? Don't Dude, bang read your it again. text man. Yeah, read it again. It was uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> it, Don't bang your, your text man. He's just for text. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was that's the example sentence. Come on, Michael. What's well, you that buzzed mean? in. Yeah. Well, I said your elbow before, but <laughs> <laughs> don't bang it because it's like your funny bone. What? You think text man means your funny bone? <laughs> Do you know some of these answers? That is no, it doesn't mean that. <laughs> is it like uh, someone Prince Albert? Oh, okay. uh, uh, yeah. It's fine. I didn't buzz. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. I get it. Get with the rules. <laughs> Shut Honestly. up. <laughs> You're on mute. <laughs> Go, it's kids. It has to be a man you're texting, surely. <laughs> I am happy to give you that. It <laughs> is a man that you only text. You don't go on dates with them yeah. or hook up with them. Just have casual conversations uh, until one of you gets bored and goes. It oh, makes okay. a lot more sense. Yeah. Yeah, right. So don't bang your text man. He's just for text. Yeah, I have a few text men right now because I'm bored, but I don't actually want to date them. 
<laughs> wow, that's brutal. That's pretty hard. Uh, so the, <laughs> the, the, best one. Okay. Um, the next one is flavoured ice. So would you like another gin and tonic? Yes, but don't touch my flavoured ice. I'm still enjoying it. Uh, Buzz. Go. Is it just like the ice remaining in your cup after you finish a beverage? Nice yarns. Is that one each? Yep. Excellent. We can just do a decider. The ice left over in your glass after a liquor drink that usually has a lime or lemon in it as well. Oh, there you go. Does ice absorb flavor? Uh, I don't think it's the ice. I think it's the just- The lime's in there. Uh, yeah. All right. Great. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. I don't know, but it tastes <laughs> good. Skin might be talking about flavoured ice. My favourite, yeah. <laughs> okay, nice and your final one, which is a great decider. This one I'm excited about, and there's a reason that I've saved it till last. Oh, God. It is <laughs> Venus. <laughs> <laughs> Can't read this. Why do you do this? <laughs> Why do you do this to Michael? You know how he gets. The word is <laughs> the word is Venus. <laughs> What's up, guys? My penis is eight inches long. <laughs> it's the example. Buzz. <laughs> to- uh, okay. I think oh I had to bed first. <laughs> I can't hear anything through the wheezing. <laughs> Why did you just go? Okay, Buzz. Buzz was in Is it just a penis? <laughs> no, it's not. Obviously not. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, what is it then, Michael? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no one's going to win this. <laughs> Come on, Skid. Penis. You've got something. A penis. <laughs> Anything? I've got nothing. Oh. So what was the what was the, the thing? <laughs> What's up, guys? My penis is eight <laughs> inches long. <laughs> okay, yeah. you're taking it too long. Oh, we go. Oh. Come on. <laughs> something to do with the foreskin. <laughs> no, it's not your foreskin. <laughs> the measure of how far back you wear a beanie. <laughs> The further back you wear it on it. your head, the longer it. your penis is. I don't want to be here. I hate it. In brackets, usually measured in inches. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? My penis is eight inches long. Yeah, well, same, guess what? Yeah. My penis is ten inches long. Michael's about to pass uh, out. I'm going to be 20 ladder jacks Stop. in there. <laughs> Holy Shit. Moses, I told you. Yeah, I was <laughs> right. getting that. Now, I also have uh, to take us out. The uh, You're in for a tweet. Wow. Yes, and it comes in from Cherry Sue doing the do. All right. That's her name on Twitter. Most people have heard of Karl Marx, but few know of his sister, Anya, an Olympic runner. Her name is still mentioned at the start of every race. <laughs> No, Yana. Got that from Yana. <laughs> just a shame. She's still thinking about Venus, though. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly distracted. Do you ever wear a beanie? <laughs> Venus? No. <laughs> Has anyone you, in our like ten years of friendship, <laughs> seen me wear a beanie? I've never seen you wear a beanie. No. <laughs> Have a penis. How do you put that into a sentence? No, stop. What? Oh, I don't, I don't. I'm gonna piss myself. <laughs> I've never, I've never seen your penis. <laughs> that better. God. That's significantly worse. <laughs> Righty, that's another episode of the Week of the Chocolates podcast complete. We welcome you to be a part of the Choggies crew. Get in touch with us uh, at the website or on our socials. Yep, either of those are fine. The website's wegotthechocolates.com.au. The socials are pretty much all of them. We should just be We Got The Chocolates. But if I could bother you to go check out YouTube in particular at the moment, that would be fantastic. We've got a little dad jokes video up there and obviously our most recent episodes if you need some context around the uh Prince Albert chat or anything like that, then you know where to find it. Absolutely. Uh, Yana, thank you so much for being a guest host this week. Thanks for having me. Enjoyed your company a great deal. You've learned some new terms that you'll probably take back home. I've kind of like been forced to learn new terms today. I'm not sure if I I feel about it. But thanks for having me. Always fun. Yeah, that was good. (laughs) Perfect. Not a problem. And remember that if you are out there having a laugh with your mates this week, then you are absolutely getting the chocolates. Also, by the way, if you do need Yana, Yana's help with any sort of getting yourself out of the doghouse, you're more than welcome to send those emails to us again at hello at wegotthechocolates.com.au and we'll forward them on to Yana. She'll probably answer them in person. Yeah, probably. 
Oh, she was not doing that. <laughs> and that'll be very awkward listening. Who Fabio. knows? <laughs> Fabio, okay. we'll speak to you again this time and next week. And as always, good luck in the future. And that's Stumps. Stumps.